Okay, first off, I just want to thank all of our sponsors. Again, I just cannot reiterate this enough. Uh, we have national sponsors, plus we have local sponsors. And if you see any of them around, please thank them. And the last thing that I'm going to say before I turn this over to, to Jason, who was talking quick about tech, anybody in a red PSU hat like this, these are faculty organizers. And so if you have questions, find somebody with a red PSU wall cap. All right? And then that's, I know you have a lot to do, so we're going to make this brief. Jason. It's not usual that you guys uh, clap for tech, but... Um, uh, again, I want to thank everybody here on the local side for putting on another event for us. A great event, great location, and we got, looks like good weather. So you guys should be clapping for them. So thank them for the round of applause. So I just want to give a few quick updates uh, from the Maryland event. Um, I hope you guys have had a chance to download the new tech sheet. That new tech sheet is the only sheet that's going to be allowed in there. Uh, they were checking in Briggs and Stratton, so if you haven't done that, uh, you need to make sure you have the correct uh, tech sheet. So uh, there's changes to that, which if you don't have the correct one, we wouldn't be able to judge the correct stuff on your car. Uh, additionally, we had some rule changes on the fuel uh, tank tabs. We had a failure, if you were uh, not aware, where a fuel tank, uh, the tabs basically sheared and the tank was loose during the endurance event. Uh, typically, I don't like to make changes in the middle of the year, but because of that um, drastic um, what happened, uh, we had to move to uh, us providing the limits and not allowing the teams to decide what they thought was a minimum thickness that was acceptable. So make sure you've read that change. Again, we will be checking that. It will be enforced. So if you have not done it, start before you get to tech so you can be right when you get there. Uh, I also want to just thank everybody that was at the Maryland event. I think we were able to get the most cards we've ever got through on the first day and before noon on the second day that we have ever had at any event. So that means we're tucking you, but you guys are the ones that have come there prepared, and you guys came really prepared for that event. So we appreciate it. We're hoping to see the same results here. One last thing. Some people have probably heard of the fuel tank that we have been developing on the tech side uh, to replace the current Briggs and Stratton. And I just wanted to give, um, if you were at Maryland, I talked about it there. Um, the reason we're doing this is we're, our most dangerous thing within tech is fuel stops and during the endurance and refueling. So we're trying to eliminate one fuel stop. So we have designed a tank that is a gallon and a half. Uh, we have four teams out there right now that are testing it. Um, and they tested it at uh, Maryland. We had no problems with it except for they were not happy with the aluminum gas cap. Uh, so between the brakes, we've changed out the gas cap to be the same type as what you currently use on the Briggs and Strap. This way, if you cross thread it, you, you buy a new gas cap, you don't buy a new gas tank. So uh, we are looking at, uh, we'll be evaluating if we can get all those in on these cars for this event. Now I did say it's a gallon and a half. I don't want you to worry that it is, they are getting bigger tanks. Each one of these tanks has a displacement ball inside it to make sure they have exactly the same amount of fuel as you are currently running on the Briggs or on, on your cars. The big point that I need you guys to appreciate is these four teams are taking a chance that something could fail, that we didn't do our job well on the design side, but they're setting the way so next year we can go to these for all the teams. So I appreciate those teams. So if you see them, it's ETS, Michigan, Akron, and RIT are the four teams that are testing those for us. So um, please thank them for doing that. So quickly, any tech questions or we're gonna go over and get tech going. Good, no questions. Thank you. Okay, I'd like to introduce the president of Pittsburgh State University, Dr. Steve Scott. I must be a university president because I'm the only one here with the sport coat on. You guys look a lot more comfortable than I am. Hey, I do want to welcome you to Pittsburgh, Kansas and to Pittsburgh State University. Uh, what did you think of last night? Wasn't that fun? Yeah. Tell you what, our, our community loves this university and they love when we do these kinds of things. So they turned out, there were kids everywhere, there were adults everywhere, retired people, college, faculty. They were there to see you and to welcome you to this community and sit in your cars and really hear about your, your experiences of getting here and what this means to you. So this community is really, really pleased that you're here. 
Uh, part of the way you know that is our Crawford County Convention Visitors Bureau, they're great partners in these kinds of projects and we could not do, do these kinds of things without them and you'll hear from uh, their representative here in a few minutes. I also want to give a shout out to our faculty, Trent and all the volunteers. We had a tremendous number of faculty and staff at Pittsburgh State University and look forward to this, this effort. Every year they love doing this and they love doing it because of you. They want to create a great learning environment for you to participate in, create really fair rules and even playing field and then get after it. Kind of like a sporting event in many, many ways. But you all will be winners because you're all going to be learning. We recognize that. Also appreciate Baja SAE and Sam and his leadership. And he loves to be here and we love to have him here and he does a great job running this. So our, our goal is for you to have a great time, have a lot of fun, build some great memories. And when you leave, you will know what Pittsburgh State University is like and what it means to be a gorilla. Thank you all very much. Have a great experience and good luck. All right, Emily Gordon is going to speak here from the uh, Crawford County Commissioner Business Bureau. Uh, welcome to Pittsburgh. Welcome to Crawford County. As Dr. Scott said, hopefully you guys all had a fantastic time downtown last night. Many of you have probably been here before in past years, but uh, hopefully you realize that Kansas maybe wasn't what you expected even. Internet cell phones do work here. We do have bathrooms. And we don't appreciate your jokes about uh, the Wizard of Oz. We hear that a little too often from out of town folks. So uh, welcome to Kansas though. We certainly hope you have a pleasant experience. If you need anything while you're here, you have a fantastic team as Dr. Scott said, Trent and the whole team that organized this event are incredible. But if you're looking for something to do while you're in Crawford County, while you're in Pittsburgh, Visit CrawfordCounty.com is our website. Check that out. Visit CrawfordCounty.com if you need resources or anything to do. We do have some sunglasses, some freebies to hand out at the back there. Uh, Chris can wave at you all. Very limited supply, but take one on your way out. Uh, it's first come, first served. And so I was thinking about this event and what you guys do. I know that uh, today you have a lot of inspections and things to go through. So why don't you help me out real quick with something just about uh, making sure you get things in the proper order. So I'm standing about halfway here. When we get this side of the room, I need you guys to clap. Now I need you guys to beat on your tables twice, but not too hard because you have to eat on these for lunch. So, all right, when I put on this side, we need you guys to clap. We need you guys to be on your table twice. So let's start off with this side clapping. Just, just, just twice, just twice. And, and synchronization, so clap. There we go. And that doesn't sound quite right, does it? You guys are ready to go out and race on Sunday. You gotta go through the inspection and everything first. It sounds a little better when you get things in the right order and when everything's in place. So why don't you guys start off with beating on the table first. There you go, all right. Good luck everybody, rock it, and best of luck this weekend. Thank you.